Hey, what's up guys? RJ here, back with another video. But first, for those of you who give thanks, I pray that you guys had a great Thanksgiving and were able to spend some quality time with your family and friends. We really do have a lot to be thankful for. So, this is episode three and the final episode in my Noob to Small UAV pilot series. I finally made it to the end, guys. So as you recall, I started off on this journey knowing nothing about aviation. And what I didn't realize at the start and failed to uh, mention in part two was just how many different points of knowledge that I would need to know and understand in order to prepare for this exam. As was mentioned in episode two, my test date was on November the 21st. The morning started off great. I felt good and ready to be tested. Well guys, today's the day. It's the 21st of November. It's uh, 9.16 in the morning. My test is scheduled for 10. And uh, yep, today's the day I take the Part 107 knowledge exam powered by Gold Seal. So uh, here we go. Gold Seal's remote pilot ground school gave me not only the knowledge and understanding of material I desperately needed, but the course also gave me the confidence to take the exam. I left the house early enough that morning to arrive in the testing center in Edgewater, Maryland 30 minutes ahead. I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to get all the paperwork done, get everything set up so I would have nice, calm, easy testing. Well guys, I've arrived at the testing facility here in Edgewater, Maryland, and I'm about to go in to get uh, all signed up, signed in, to take the test. I'll see you on the other side. Well guys, rank me another one messed up by the CAT system. Apparently the instructor had no record of my appointment that was made roughly a month and a half ago. So um, thankfully, however, he was willing or is willing to come in and um, give me the test later on this afternoon. So looks like we get to come back out again. All right. Until next time. So needless to say, with all that anticipation, I was not happy that the proctor didn't have any scheduled record of my test. So it was not looking good. But thankfully, thankfully, it worked out. All right, folks, this is attempt number two. Let's see how it goes this time. All right, see you on the other side. Hopefully, the completed other side this time. So thankfully, it was an extremely windy day and the proctor wasn't able to fly. He was scheduled to fly all day. So he was able to come in and proctor my test. Upon entry of the testing facility, I was directed to read through some privacy material, establish my identity, and empty the contents of all my pockets, both pants and jacket. I was then directed to put that stuff that I had on the table where he was stationed. I then proceeded to sign off through some digital signing pad, which then transferred to the computer. I was led to a computer station and was given instructions on the supplement guide, the use of their calculator, pencil, transfer paper, highlighter for the transfer paper, and some note paper. I was told not to write in the supplement book and that I was prohibited from removing any materials from the computer station. After a brief tutorial on how the exam software worked, did I mention that the entire exam 
questions are computer based and will result in the immediate pass or fail upon completion. If not, I just did. So the software allows you to move back and forth through the questions. It also allows you to mark questions that you want to return to. In addition, answered and unanswered questions are clearly marked with a countdown timer in the upper left hand corner letting you know exactly how much time you have left, which is two hours. I was pleasantly surprised at how well the software aided in the exam process. So I made it through 63 questions in about 45 minutes and had marked three or four to return to. So once I completed the first round, I went back to the three or four, studied them and answered them to the best of my ability. I then decided that I, since I had the time that I was going to go and back and move through each and every question. Did I mention it was extremely windy that day? The wind was hitting the building so hard it was rattling it, making howling noises. I kept thinking, oh, I pray to God these computers have UPS backups or else I'm the wind is going to knock the power out and I'm going to lose my, my test. It was extremely nerve wracking. So once I was convinced that I had answered every single question correctly, I proceeded to hit that finish button. And within a few seconds, I was greeted with what I think was a congratulations message. But at the very least, it was a square box that had, I believe, total questions given, questions answered, missed questions, incorrectly answered questions, and my percent of success. Well, guys, it's done. And I passed. Woohoo! Passed. I got two wrong. And uh, they were, of course, questions that, um, that I did not ever recall seeing. Uh, so, yeah, I am done and will soon get my uh, information into IACRA and uh, start this process of uh, getting my certificate. Many, many thanks to Gold Seal. There is simply no possible way I would have been able to pass this test without your help. So yeah, guys, I am, I guess, on my way to being a small UAS pilot. Even though I really wanted to ace this test, I was quite relieved I achieved a 90% success score. 97%. So you have the option to review your incorrectly answered questions, but the system will not give you the correct answer. So in the vlog video, I mentioned two questions I had missed that I had never seen before. That was a mistake. Only one of those questions missed I had never seen mentioned before. The other, I think, was just a, some stupid radio frequency question answer I missed. The question in question was related to something about Part 107's use for civil and or public. I labored over that question for quite some time as I wasn't sure how they were using the word public. Well, in the end, I, I wind up obviously answering incorrectly. Guys, this test is the real deal. It was a hard test for me. If you have any aviation background, it's probably not going to be as hard for you. But for someone like me who had absolutely no background to draw from, it was difficult. As I mentioned in the vlog video, I could not have done it without Gold Seal's help. No way. So if you're on the fence which training program to go with, I encourage you to go with Gold Seal. Yes, they gave me free access to the course for evaluation to put it to the test from a complete noob's perspective, but I think the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. As Mike from Neo Portnoy said in his tweet to me, 
He watched me go from zero to 100 in a month and a half, ending with a score of 97%. 97% guys. I can't imagine a better program for those like you, like me, who are starting from scratch. I'm your proof, guys. Gold Seals program works. So that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed following me on my journey in this series. If you like video and the series, please share it with your friends and family and hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. So until next time, guys, take care.